All right. Tea's done. Yeah, we're just about ready, y'all. I'm, I'm excited. This is going to be a good one today. I, I don't really, you know, have any expectations other than I just want to submit. I just want to get a, a submission in. All right, battle's up. Let's do this thing, y'all. Let's give it a shot. We've got a Steve Harvey type sample, looks like. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get some one shots from this. I start each of these battles in a similar way by just separating the sample out into usable parts, one shots, percussion, and effects. And then let's see if we can come up with a loop with this little uh, pattern that they got here. I took the loop and began to line up the transients so that I had something to build off of and build a beat around. And then... Once I picked a drum groove I like, I took parts of the original sample and sequenced them in a way that I thought sounded really interesting. My next step was to write some hi-hats in, get the drum groove going even more, and just add some more space to the percussion elements of the beat. Then I layered a second hi-hat just to shuffle up the groove on certain beats. After dialing in the drum groove, I began to hunt around for some samples that I could potentially use for a melodic and harmonic element in the beat. After playing around with this loop for a bit, I decided I didn't really love it. So for now, it was just gonna act as a placeholder while I finished up the rest of the drums. I added in some open hi-hats, some impacts, some snare layers with reverb on them. And then I also layered up the kick as well, just to add some extra dimension to the original drum loop that I used. I like to also sidechain the kick to certain elements so it makes it easiest if the kick is on its own track. Yeah, so I'm really liking the way that this is sounding so far. I've got about 30 minutes left, so I take this time to double my loop, and much like a block of marble, I just sit there and chip away at it, adding details, adding sections, and adding transitions in between those sections. 
At this point, you can actually see me get up out of my chair and head over to the keyboard. What I'm doing there is just hammering away some bass line ideas on the keys. I then take that line and translate it into some 808s and then layer my 808s just so I have a high layer and a low layer. I finished up the bass and just continue to add more details, more variations to the sections. Then I had this idea to go and look up some old Steve Harvey highlight clips just to see what I could find and throw into my beat. City, though, name something you'd be absolutely shocked to hear Steve Harvey's wearing under his dapper suit. We would like to see Steve Harvey in his tidy whiteies. <laughs> that is gonna be sick. At this point, I realized that the Family Feud answer ding is just gonna be the perfect transition element for the beat. So I draw that idea out and continue to organize the file, giving myself some more real estate, adding my intro and outro, and just finishing up the beat overall. I picked out a few more chords on the piano just to layer in a few more samples, picked out a couple of gospel choir samples in the same key, and voila, you have the beat. All right, let's see how we did. I don't know, did, it, did mine take? Did mine even take? Oh yeah. Did we just, yo, we just won. Oh my gosh, we just won the beat battle. Woo, what? Oh my God, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out right now. <laughs>